Welcome back to Cruising America, everyone. Today we're visiting Santa Elena Canyon in Big Bend National Park in Texas. We're Steve and Kathleen. We're Cruising America in our 35-foot fifth-wheel RV, chasing 70-degree weather year-round. If you'd like to watch our previous videos, please click the Cruising America playlist link in the description below this video. Otherwise, enjoy our current episode starting now. Big Bend refers to the great southwest Texas U-turn the Rio Grande River makes here. It actually defines the park boundary for 118 miles. In the southwest corner of the park, the Rio Grande River emerges from Santa Elena Canyon. To visit, simply drive to the end of Ross Maxwell's Scenic Drive. The round-trip hiking distance of this out-and-back trail is 1.6 miles. The elevation change is only 80 feet, and the average hiking time is one hour. Dogs and other pets are not permitted on this or any trails in Big Bend National Park. The trail is good for all skill levels and is primarily used for hiking, walking, and running. The Santa Elena Canyon hike provides desert, cliff, canyon, beach, river, and wildlife scenery. At some points, the limestone walls are separated by as little as 150 feet. Garfish and some turtles, living fossils, hint at the lush savanna and swamp of 50 million years ago. Their ancestors swam with crocodiles in hippopotamus-like creatures. If you wonder at the river's power, in other words, did it truly cut colossal canyons, just listen to a canoe's hull hiss from the river's abrasive particles. The river has run for eons like a belt sander. The Rio Grande creates a riparian corridor for species not adapted to arid desert life, adding to the park's biological diversity. Its thin floodplain looks like a green belt in the desert. Beaver tooth marks on riverside cottonwood or willow trees may startle you, 
but beavers live in bank burrows here. Some birders say birds in the floodplain are more colorful than elsewhere. Summer tanagers, painted buntings, vermilion flycatchers, and cardinals accent green foliage. River sand and gravel bars, as well as cliff banks, host creatures not expected in the Chihuahuan Desert. Sandpipers and killdeer sprint on sandbars. Cliff swallows fly to adobe nests of river mud. The Rio Grande floodplain has been home to people for many centuries, well before Spaniards arrived here seeking gold, silver, and fertile land in the 17 and 1800s. In 1773, they established Presidio del Paso del San Vicente at a major river crossing. Anglo-American settlers began farming the river's banks after 1884 and Mexicans before 1900. Cotton and food crops were grown around Castellon and today's Rio Grande Village even after the park was formed. This trail may be closed during peregrine falcon nesting season in early spring. Check with the National Park Service's website for more information. This trail may be impassable due to flooding during the summer rainy season. Check with park staff about the current trail condition. Wear old shoes in case the Terlingo Creek crossing is muddy. If the water here is deep and swift, do not cross. Just enjoy the canyon from a distance and try again in drier weather. Make sure you bring sun protection and plenty of water and food if necessary. Don't leave people behind. If you're hiking in a group, make sure the person in the back always has someone to help. Keep an eye out for snakes and remember to maintain a safe distance between yourself and all wildlife. Animals in the park are wild and should never be approached, harassed, or fed. Please don't stack rocks. Cairns are stacks of rocks to mark trails in areas where they are hard to follow. Randomly stacked rocks can lure hikers off the correct trail. A paved parking lot at the trailhead provides parking for about 20 vehicles. Thanks for watching our latest episode of Cruising America. To see more of our videos, click the link to our channel in the description below. If you like our videos, 
please click the subscribe button, then click the bell next to it. YouTube will then send you emails telling about our new videos once they're posted.